Hello everyone, I'm Nate Asher and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker HD. If you notice, I do have a full magic meter, um, as in like the size of it, and uh, that is because I I did go through the, uh, the fights that we're about to uh, go through right now, and uh, I had to replenish my magic quite a lot, so I thought it would be probably a good idea to just go back and um, get the magic upgrade from one of the fairies, the great fairies that uh, we didn't get uh, in the playthrough. And if you want to see that, I will um, put the video right here. So yeah, nothing too special, but if you wanted to see it, there it is. So, without further ado... Let's go. Oh, more stairs. Just skip through these guys. Pretty sure it's not even necessary to like face them to be honest. This one does have a uh, door bar though. Oh, and as you can see right there, we still have the hero's charm on, allowing us to see our enemy's health meter, which is pretty handy. Especially not uh, not necessarily for like the the weaker enemies that only take a couple hits anyway, but like these bigger enemies, it's nice to know if you're getting close. I'd say like it's probably most helpful when facing like bosses and stuff, at least for people that. might be facing a particular boss for their first time, they don't know which which phase they're on, if there are multiple phases. Uh, I don't know. It's, it's one of those things, it's not like, like it's definitely not uh, necessary, but it can be helpful. So, But this has the do I really have to beat all the enemies? I didn't think I did. Okay. Like that. Hmm. I guess it is triggered by all, all the enemies here. Be honest, I I don't think I knew that. If I did, I forgot it. Just. 
I mean, this is, I don't play the Wind Waker, at least replay it too often. It's one of those games that I go back to for nostalgia purposes, like... Oh, you know what? I haven't played in a long time. The Wind Waker. Which, that's how I do a lot of Zelda games, which, uh, as I've said before, is one of the reasons I started this channel, because I'm always going back and replaying them after a bit. But Alright. Sleep still. Wait. Do not be so hasty, boy. You can see this girl's dreams. Oceans. 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 Oceans as far as the eye can see. They are vast seas. None can swim across them. They yield no fish to catch. What did the king of Hyrule say? Did the gods sealed Hyrule away? And they left behind people who would one day awaken Hyrule? How ridiculous. So many pathetic creatures scattered across a handful of islands, drifting on the sea like fallen leaves on a forgotten pool. What can they possibly hope to achieve? Don't you see? All of you. Your gods destroyed you! I've been waiting for you, boy. For one like you. Yes. For the hero. <laughs> Do not betray my expectations. Alright, so this is Puppet Ganon. Pretty cool um, idea. Mainly due to a, uh, I guess, gimmick that you'll see here in a second. this. You can see his reflection pretty cool. During this fight in particular, it's more of a, uh, a cool touch, but it will soon uh, prove to be more than just Stag thing. You freaking eat.
Come on. No. Phase two. This is where it becomes more helpful. You need to see how it's landing so you know which side of the spider to get on while it falls so you have a clear shot of the uh, orb. Yeah, if you um, if you've played Zelda before, you probably face a boss like this a lot because it's in a lot of games. Like a oh, Burn out of med. Yeah, it's a um, Moldorm. It's in several Zelda games, really. Like uh. The ones that come to mind right now are like A Link to the Past, Link's Awakening. This is so hard to do right now with these guys on. Me. But I guess that's the point, isn't it? Ooh. Yeah, I'm good. This screen so looks so dark. <laughs> yes, surely you are the hero of time, reborn. Your time has come. Come now. Stand before me. Alright. Well, yeah, so it's not over. Just another one of his, um, for lack of a better word, puppets. Uh, but I'm going to take a break. I'll be right back. I need to get on. Oh. <laughs> Now, I like, uh, considered fast forwarding through this, but I feel like it's a really long climb for a reason. You know, like, it's, it's more of the building up, like, trying to really reiterate and stress the whole, like, enormity of this room. Alright, let's see. Just 
just that one. No. Little fill up station up here. or whatever. I don't know if it ever says what those are, but you probably noticed that one uh, way down there whenever we were fighting the boss and now if for some reason we died or had to go back, we could just warp back up here. We wouldn't have to climb the rope, so good um, design choice. All right, here we go. My country lay within a vast desert. When the sun rose into the sky, a burning wind punished my land, searing the world. And when the moon climbed into the dark of night, Bridget Gale pierced our homes. No matter when it came, the wind carried the same thing. Death. But the winds that blew across the green fields of Hyrule brought something other than suffering and ruin. I coveted that wind, I suppose. It can only be called fate that here I would again gather the three with the crests that I should lay my hand on that which grants the wishes of the beholder. And when power, wisdom, and courage come together, the gods would have no choice but to come down. Power of the gods. The Triforce. He who touches it will have whatever he desires granted. Already the crest of wisdom is mine. All that remains... Fear will not kill you. I really have need of the power that dwells within you. Now, let us put an end to that which binds us together. Gods, hear that which I desire. Expose this land to the rays of the sun once more. Let them burn forth. Give Hyrule 
to me. He who touches it will have whatever he desires granted. That is what you said, is it not, Gandalf? Gods of the Trifles, hear that which I desire. Hope. I desire hope for these children. Give them a future. Wash away this ancient land of Hyrule. Let a ray of hope shine on the future of the world. Let all destinies finally be fulfilled. Ganondorf, may you drown with Hyrule. His arm's still out, I can't believe it. Foolishness. Future for you. <laughs> what are you laughing at, Ganondorf? You're insane. Link, I'm sorry. I ever slept. I think it's time for us to say goodbye to this place. We must return to the world above, back to our ocean. Very well then, allow me to show you your future. Yes, allow me to show you just what I hope you have. See how much your precious Triforce is worth. I'll use this bow to cover you, attack him as best you can. Shot me.
Oh, she still has my bow. Why do you keep shooting me? For you and use your shield. Do you get it? Nice shot. You have to wait until I get hit. Hurry up. Link. My children, listen to me. I have lived regretting the past, and I have faced those regrets. Only I could do things over again. Not a day of my life has gone by without my thoughts turning to my kingdom of old. I've lived bound to Hyrule. In that sense, 
I was the same as Ganondorf. You. I want you to live for the future. There may be nothing left for you, but despite that, you must look forward, walk a path of hope, trusting that it will sustain you when darkness comes. Farewell. This is the only world that your ancestors were able to leave you. Please, forgive us. Wait, you could, you could come with us. Yes, of course, we have a ship, we can find it, we will find it. The land that will be the next Hyrule. So... Ah. A child, that land will not be Hyrule. It will be your land. scattered the seeds of the future. And that's it. So yeah, thank you guys uh, so much for watching the series. I really, uh, I hope you enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. Uh, this is the second uh, official uh, like licensed title Zelda game that I've done on the channel. Um, you can definitely tell the difference uh, between this and the Link's Awakening remake. I've uh, got better equipment, I've, been, I've improved my editing skills a lot, and I've definitely, um, increased, like, with my confidence and, and all that kind of stuff, so, and, uh, a big part of that is thanks to you guys for, um, for supporting me, and, I mean, we have probably... I had like 20 something or whatever subscribers whenever uh, 
I did the the first series um, of Link's Awakening, and and now we're in like the 70s, and and uh, like I don't I don't even like promote myself, so that's all that's all just you guys, you know, sharing with people and telling people about me and stuff, and and uh, my own friends who uh, have supported me, and and I don't go out and beg people to. Uh, to look at my YouTube channel, subscribe, and all that kind of stuff, because I want people to watch because they're actually interested. And uh, the fact that I haven't gone out and you know begged for subscribers and whatnot, and yet I've um, you know, more than tripled in subscribers since the the first Let's Play I did, um, it, it just shows that you know you guys you're, you're awesome. You're I can. I can tell like I've got a lot of like a good foundation for you guys uh, of just like people that enjoy these games like I do and uh, people that that actually like enjoy watching and want to see me and stuff and and uh, it's a feeling you can't really describe you know but. Uh, once again, thank you guys so much. Um, I am planning on doing the the Skyward Sword HD, um, like the remake, uh, this summer. I'm not sure if I'm going to do it in a Let's Play fashion just yet, just because there's a lot of other YouTubers um, that you know, make Zelda content that have uh, much bigger followings that probably are going to get a lot of the, uh, the focus, or at least, you know, they're, they're more well-known, trusted, stuff like that, um, so, uh, it, it probably just wouldn't be the best time for a small channel like me, but, uh, I'm definitely gonna play it, and I'm definitely gonna record it. Uh, I just probably won't I do the let's play on it just yet. Might like later after things calm down a little bit, but um so uh but I gotta I'm I'm trying to decide between a couple uh of games of which one is gonna be the next, you know, main title Friday morning weekly uh, let's play so I don't know right now it's kind of a kind of between continuing on with the Wii U remake and uh, doing probably Princess HD or maybe uh, throwing it back to the old uh, Oracle games for the Game Boy Color, like Orville of Ages, Orville of Seasons, but like the way that those are structured, they're actually linked, and um, so you play one, you get a code for the other one to be able to play like a, a second quest with like different... It's like a different story almost. I don't know. It, but like, you have to beat the other game's original version to play the second quest on on each other. I don't know. It's weird. So I gotta like think about how I would structure that if I was gonna do that. But Etcher, you didn't keep the Princess Zelda garb? Anchors away! Hold the tiller steady! 
As for our destination, the wind will guide us. guys well thank you so much for watching once again if you enjoyed this episode as well as the series then uh, please do like the video and if you haven't subscribed please consider subscribing because uh, I, I mean I don't I don't make money off of this I, I do it because I enjoy it and uh, I don't know if it shows, but like I really do work hard on it, and I do my best and have done my best to consistently uh, you know, release content and stuff at least once a week, and I, I feel like so far I've, I've, I've been successful in that, and I, I hope that those of you who do follow along um, appreciate the consistency I know I would um, I I really wanted to like you know make sure to stick with that because before I started making videos on YouTube I used to watch you know Zelda let's plays and stuff and a lot of the channels that I liked would they they would get inconsistent I would never I'd never know like when they were gonna upload again like the only the only time it was you know, I always had something to watch as if I was watching like an old what or like an old playlist or something but uh, they they all just they all get so big that they start uh, I, mean, I get that people have other stuff going on, but like it's also an obligation that you kind of like owe to your subscribers and, and fans and people that support you. Like you owe it to them to you know give them what they signed up for, and I, I feel like a lot of YouTubers fall into that where it's like they always have an excuse and. Regardless of how, you know, valid or you know, good the excuse is, it's still an excuse, and I feel like, especially bigger YouTubers that do this for a living, like, I don't do this for a living, I do this in addition to my life and my job, and, uh, you know, like, yeah, I'm new, but I, I feel like, you know, if you really apply yourself, it's not hard to have content to put out, especially, you know, you, you could, you know, make content in advance, and that way, like, if, if things do come up and you can't put out a video, then you, or you can't, like, record, but you still have videos that you can put out and stuff, I don't know, but, regardless, I'm rambling, so, uh, anyways, thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.